Time now to turn our attention to Louis and Danny, although Danny was engrossed in what he was saying as yeah. well. Uh, and their brand new biopic on the Sex Pistols. Uh, yes, it's a six part series called Pistol, and it takes us inside one of punk rock's greatest ever stories. Let's take a look at what we can expect. Right guidance, you could change the world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sex Pistols. Punk has taken London's youth by storm. People's minds are too imprisoned. We want to destroy us so the future can emerge. We're going to kick this country awake if it kills us. Um, Jermaine and I have already started watching it. I mean, I am in yeah. already. I'm two episodes in and absolutely love it. Great. Um, now, this is based on the memoir, right, by Steve Jones, who was Sex Pistols' guitarist. So what made you want to get involved, Danny, and direct it? It's a great British story. It really is one of the great stories of our time, really. Well, well of my time, not his. He's a bit young for it. <laughs> but um, it, was an, it was like a back door into the Sex Pistols, because the Sex Pistols are quite... The whole thing is a bit kind of... It's quite intimidating as an edifice. It's quite... Yeah. You know, Johnny Rotten, he's very outspoken, and he's kind of like... Um, but suddenly there was this back door in through this guy whose group it was. Yeah. It's his group, Steve Jones, he started it. And he's this very ordinary guy from Shepherd's Bush and, um, and can't read or write. Starts this group which arguably changed the world. And it's yeah. one of our greatest things we're greatest at, apart from football, obviously, <laughs> is, um, is music. And, um, and, it, and he's one of the, the chief... Um, Ignition points for change yeah. In, yeah. In, in, in music groups, really, and the introduction of punk. Look, you, you star in the show as, as Sid Vicious. Yes. I mean, Danny just mentioned there, kind of, uh, what was you born in, like 2003? Exactly. How <laughs> Someone's looked this up. <laughs> my, numbers are good. my numbers are on fire today. I don't know what's going on. How much did you know like, about the Sex Pistols? I, I didn't know enough, really, at all. Um, I remember going as Sid Vicious to school for a dress-up day and oh, okay. I sort of donned my leather jacket, spiked my hair up, yeah, in a Mohican, thinking that that's what they were about. And I mean, it was just an excuse, really, for me to be able to say sex in school. I was about, <laughs> I was about 10 years old. Um, but it's kind of... I, only sort of researching it now, I realised that I had some idea of them in my head, oh, right. but really didn't know anything about them, didn't know what they stood for. Um, so that's what, you know, sort of debunking, um, and debunking that's been amazing, really, because, you know, you have this idea of Sid Vicious as this sort of fearless, um, reckless icon, um, but thanks to the script and, and your sort of care and passion, I felt we could really find the humanity in this guy because it takes five minutes to, to listen to one of his interviews or, yeah. or read, read a quote from Viv Albertine, for example, in yeah. the book, and you just find out that, you know, he's a thoughtful guy and he's yeah. got heart and he's... Um, yeah, I, I was just really lucky to be able to, to give, give that context. Yeah. Um, yeah. Danny, it's a, it's a very young cast, isn't it? So did you have to kind of teach them about that period and that era? Oh, my God, that is... It's very tough. Yeah. It's, like being in school. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when History you mention... History Danny Boyle. It's like when you mention steps, it's like it yeah, just yeah. goes straight over him. It's like... But we, we had this problem about phones, cos, of course, their lives as young people are full of phones. They're, they're, you know, it's just part of their lives. But then, of course, you had to... Uh, it was a payphone. Trying to explain to them about yeah. 2p and 10p pushed into the phone. If you didn't push it in, <laughs> by the time the pips went, you'd get cut He's off. still smiling now, yeah. look. <laughs> trying to explain <laughs> that to them. And then trying to explain a trim phone. You remember the trim phones on yeah. the cradle? Yeah. No, those ones on the cradle that you... Oh, yeah, those oh, wow. ones. Yeah. yeah. And they couldn't work out how to put it back on the cradle. They kept putting it back on on the wrong way. So, yeah. But... <laughs> Uh, the wonderful thing about casting them is that you've, uh, time 